morning everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to have a bash at um 4d sculpting carving is that what it is 3d sculpting you know the, the, the sculpted gel okay so i have these this is my little bundle that i haven't used because it scares me i think i've tried it once and it didn't go that well so i'm gonna have a go today so I'll go through the colours that I've got because some of them don't look anything like they do on the things. Okay, so we've got a, a lilac -y bright purple, which is a nice, nice colour. It's a light purple and I was expecting a bit dark, but it's all good. I thought it was going to be brown and it's red, which is okay. Red is good. That one's a nice pale pink. We've got a kind of a burnt orange, which is not burnt orange. Okay, we've got green, which is a very bright green. We've got some kind of a neutral colour, isn't it? That's quite a nice colour. Now, this is supposed to be gold. That is not gold. That looks like baby poo looks like i just peeled it out of somebody's nappy um black this is orange now this was supposed to be silver but it's just just gray really still nice though uh and the, at least the white looks like white and i've also got another couple of different brand ones as well i don't even know what brand they are but um just thought i'd try another different brand as well with a white one and a, a pink one so they're the colors i've got to play with i've got a little bit of um slip solution in my dappin dish and also as well as trying to make pretty things out of this stuff i'm going to experiment now as you've seen i have these gel molds now I'm going to see if we can use this stuff in these moulds, if they're pushed in tightly enough, whether you'd be able to actually, um, it's like this one, it's really cute, it's a little teddy bear. So it'd be nice to do the teddy bear and then be able to decorate it because the gel one, if you do the gel teddy bears, which I have tried, it doesn't seem to um, cure in the middle so it's all squishy. So I thought if we could do it with some of this stuff, it may work so that'll be one to try but and i've also got some couple of flower ones just to try and um these are the lips so yeah i thought i'd give it a go anyway so i shall get myself all set up and ready and i shall be back in a moment okay so i've got this brush out um I don't even know what brand this is, it hasn't got a name, but anyway, I've got this one out with the, um, obviously for it, it's for, um, <sighs> Builder Gel, that's it, Aqua Gel, and I've also got, I don't want to use that unless I really have to, some really old dodgy ones, so that's probably the best out of the three but I'd rather use these and ruin them than ruin a perfectly good brush. Okay, so I thought, well, right, what shall we try? We'll try the red. Okay. And I've got my gloves on, obviously, so we don't want to be getting um, allergies and nasty stuff. I've already get allergies as, as it is, so. Okay, so let's bring it in a bit. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work, folks. You know, it's this is really um, this one is actually really soft. I wasn't expecting it to be so soft. I know some of them are really hard, so it may not work. But we'll give it a go. If you don't try it, you don't know. So I've got a bit of silly slip solution on the end of that spatula just to stop it sticking. And then I'll 
gonna gonna have to make sure that it's all pushed in all the gaps don't want to miss any so I'm having to just keep pressing it in and moving it about. Okay. I'm just going to press it into place. good as we're going to get it as a it is just a trial this one unless i can do it from this way up doesn't seem to that bubble may actually be if you can see the bubble there that bubble doesn't seem to want to come out so it makes me think that it could be part of the rubber so, oh, the silicone rubber given it a minute and a half in the lamp so it's quite thick let's see if it comes out well, there you go it works i'm really really impressed with that so it so you can get on with this stuff as well it's not just normal gel so that is really good, okay. Well, now we know it works, I think we should try a teddy. We need to try a teddy, so we will get out. Oh, what colour shall we get out? Finding the right colour. I don't want the diarrhea brown, because that's just nasty. We could go for a natural or perhaps a grey teddy. We'll go for a grey teddy. Okay, so I'm going to dip my spatula in the slip solution again. Take a little bit out. We'll go for the big teddy. At least we can see what we're doing with that one. Making sure it's all pushed in now. There's little dots on Teddy's feet and all sorts in there so I want to make sure that it's all squashed in. Let's give a little bit more. As it is. Okay, let's have a look at the underside. The underside doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to put that in the lamp for a, I think I'm going to do a two minute cure on that one. And let's see how it turns out. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Now I have noticed with the lips, they, they are really solid. So I think if you was going to put them on a nail, so you can um, sort of bend them accordingly, you, give them a quick a flash cure it 
attach it to your nail and then give it a finish cure. Oh, wow. That is the cutest little fella. How awesome is that? This is a little bit that needs trimming off around the edge, as you can see just there. Um, but that is so pretty. How cute is that? I love it. So there we go. I've just snipped that excess off with my cuticle nippers. That is really cute. If you can get the, the right colour, a nice pale colour, and you could decorate your mop. But like I said with the lips, if you're going to put it on a nail, if you want it to curve with your nail shape, give it a quick, um, a quick cure. Then put it on your nail and then give it a full cure because it, they dry. It's um, it doesn't give any. It's not. It doesn't bend at all. So if you're going to try and, if you give it a full cure and try and force it on a nail, um, it's not going to go, it's just going to snap in half. But I'm so pleased that's worked. I didn't think it would, but there we go. So that's one thing that's worked. So I'm not going to try the other bits of flowers now because there's no point. Okay, so next. I need to clear my desk and um, get ready for the next thing. Right, don't really know what I'm doing from this moment on. So um, I've got a silicone mat out. And I've also got a bit of um, form, the old backing paper from the forms. I'm just, uh, all I'm going to do is have a go at what I've seen doesn't mean I can do it so I watched a video last night actually okay so I'm gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna roll it in a ball and it's probably got the gloves on now from what I saw it has to be sort of flat like that I think that might be a bit too much actually let me just take a little bit off okay well, I'm only going from what I saw everyone I'm, I'm assuming everyone else has got their own way of doing this so don't tell me off okay well the only problem is that is not coming off the form like um, like I saw yesterday. And all I saw was it being wrapped around like that. I don't even know whether that looks right. Can you even see that? Okay. So that's my first bit. Now, when I was watching the lady do hers, she didn't cure it at all. She did the whole entire flower. Well, I'm not that good. So I'm going to give this a cure just to make sure I'm not going to ruin it so I'm going to stick that in the lamp even for 30 seconds and then I can get on with making another petal as you see guys I have no idea what I'm doing I'm completely winging this it's um but I just don't know I have no idea She did, she literally just used her fingers for the entire video. No, well, I don't think that's gonna work, but pat that down a bit. And I think that's way too big. 
chop some off like I did before. Dip my tool in my slip solution again. Okay, I've taken this out of the lamp and pop that just there. Okay, and then I'm gonna Be a disaster, guys. I know it is. Absolute disaster. Let's just pat that down because it's um, this is not good. I don't know where I need to, to be for it. Okay. I'm going to bring this out a bit because um, you can't actually see what I'm doing. I'll move all these out of the way so we don't lose focus on what we're actually doing. You might be able to see a bit better. That's not bad. I'm not going to put that in the lamp. I'm going to get on with the next bit. So what I'll do, I'm just going to let you watch this now. I'll let you watch me make a mess and then I shall meet you at the end.
Okay, so I have given that a minute's cure and apparently it should just pop off. Oh my God. Do you know what? I know it's not the neatest flower, but that is the first time I've managed to do one. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit messy, but that's not bad at all, actually. I'm really quite pleased with that. Obviously, that the bottom looks a bit, a bit mad. Needs a good, nice file flat, but I'm impressed. So I've finally made my first flower. Um, okay, so I've done a flower. The only other thing I was going to try with this stuff, I'm just going to get a tip ready and then I'll have and then I'll explain okay that one's gone in the bin because I've never been so annoyed with something in my life so what we're gonna do just to finish this off we're gonna just pop this on and I'm gonna get a few beads and a few you know crystally things and make this into a bit of a feature nail what I've done, I've filed the back off because it was quite high and it's still quite high, but that's taken quite a lot off just so it doesn't stand right up here. It's still quite a long way, but there's still plenty of room to stick some um, beads and bits and bobs on there. So I'll just get those bits ready. Okay, so in here I have a little tub of all sorts in there. Wish my roses looked as good as those. I'm going to tip all that in there so we can see what we've got. Um, there's some really nice crystals in here and they're pointy back so they'll go nice around the flower. There's, a, there's loads of pointy back ones. So, okay. These little uh, pearls are nice as well so yeah, we've got quite a bit to going on with okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to use find it. I have this little tiny poly gel I don't know I don't know who does it or anyway it's a tiny poly, poly gel and I bought it especially for if I do any big, put any big blingy things on. So, don't know how good it is. Or how um, thick it is. It's not that thick actually, it's more like a glue. Which is, that's um, definitely more like a glue so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring it if you can see what I don't know if you can see what I'm doing bringing it out and round then we can stick the crystals to it as well as the flower okay so right I'm gonna pop the flower on And then round the edges, especially round here, we've got enough, we've got this poly gel to, I'm just going to get a little bit more on my, um, tiny bit more around there. Okay, put that lid on. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of the, I've got some AB pointy backs, which will look pretty in there, so I'll pop some of those in, and possibly some of these little crystal balls, they're quite pretty. Let's 
it as nicely just there. Okay. Some of the small pearls. And I'm just going to get another tiny bit of the poly gel and go under this side if you can see just under there okay so we can still move our flower the flower still looks beautiful where it is okay, so now let's see what crystals we've got now we've got lots but i can't see them because they're all ready upside down not the ab ones really them. No, they're not A, B. Okay, we'll just put clear ones in. It's fine. Put one of those in. That's beautiful. And put a small one in as well if we've got a small one. You can find them when you want them. Okay, so this is my attempt. I mean, excuse all the crystal placement, not the best. Um, I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do the flower. And that's not bad for a first attempt. I'm quite pleased. That I'm pleased with. Doing um, the flowers that you, you do with acrylic on your nail, that was horrific, which is going straight in the bin. But I'm quite pleased with how this one's turned out. Well, obviously, it's not perfect, but it is my first time actually trying one, and um, yeah, quite like it. Gone a bit. I went a bit mental with the decoration, but you know, yeah, quite like it. So um, yeah, hang on a minute. Well, I'll just get everything together, and then I shall do a summary. Okay guys, a little summary of what um, I've done today. I did have a go um, earlier at a, a flower to go on a nail, as in a flat one, you know, to encapsulate, and that turned out horrendously. So that's just gone straight in the bin. Um, my pink flower that I made, I know it's not perfect, but I'm quite... I'm quite pleased with that. And I've just done a little bit of, you know, decorative stuff with it. A little bit over the top there, but I'm actually quite, 
I'm quite proud of that because that's my first flower and I managed to do it. So that's good. These I think is fantastic. Really pleased that they work in the moulds. So anybody that's got these moulds, get creating now. I mean, I thought I thought they were good with gel polish. But now I can make a little solid teddy bear. And it can be decorated and, you know, can be coloured in because he's so cute. So you literally do anything in there. So, yeah, so these um, sculpting gels, they're not actually, they're not bad at all. I'm quite pleased with them. I'm, I think it's just I'm really struggling to get the hang of them. I've kind of got the hang of the flower. I know what to do now, and it's a case of just practice that. But anything else, um, you know, designing stuff on your nail, I'm really struggling to get the hang of that. Um, that's my nemesis at the moment that I'm not in, not happy about because I just cannot get the hang of it no matter what I do. And then it frustrates me because I'll try anything. But I'm pr I think I'm pretty much beaten with that. But if anyone's got any advice on um, sculpting a flower actually on the nail, please let me know because um, I've about given up on that one. But anyway, I'm pleased with what I've done today. Um, they've actually turned out really well. So better than I thought. And I'm, I'm so glad that I've discovered that they're you can use the sculpting gel for those as well so yeah so that's it from me guys um i hope this was a bit informative and helped a few people out um and you could watch me destroy a flower but i didn't i don't think i did a bad job i don't think that was bad at all but yeah i hope you like this video guys if you did please give it a thumbs up and um if you haven't already, I'd be so grateful if you, you would subscribe to my channel and then you can be um, informed when I upload again. Let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers. That would be amazing. So that's it from me anyway, guys, for now. And I shall see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.